Scores for the SAT exam are normally distributed. According to the College Board, the average SAT score is 1,518 and the standard deviation is 325. If one student's SAT score is randomly selected, what is the probability that the score is between 1,400 and 1,700? All right, because it says the scores are normally distributed, I'm going to go ahead and draw a bell curve. I'll label a z-axis at 0 and an x-axis at the mean. The mean is 1,518. And then I'll have the standard deviation up here in the corner, 325. Now I'm looking between for the scores between 1,400 and 1,700. Since 1,400 is below the mean, I'll put it on the left. 1,700 is above the mean, I'll put it on the right. Now we need to convert these values into z-scores. And then when I'm done, I need to find the area that represents between these two values. Between them is this space, right? So I'll need to do this area or find this area for the problem. Now, if I look up this z-score, it's going to give me the answer from here to here, the center. That's half of what I want, or at least part of what I want. The other value from here to here will give me the other piece of what I want. So in the end, I'm going to have to add these two shaded areas together to get my total answer for the problem. So let's continue by converting this into a z-score. So remember the formula for that. It's just going to be z is equal to the score you want to convert, 1400, minus the mean, which is 1518, divided by 325. I'm going to plug that quickly into my calculator to show you how that's done. So I'll use a parenthesis for the top, and I'll put 1400 minus the 1518. Then from there, I'm going to divide that by 325. And when I hit enter, I get minus 0.36 to two decimal places. So minus 0.36. All right, then I need to convert 1700, so I'll do the same thing. So remember, this answer was minus 0.36. Over here, I'll do a similar calculation, but this time it'll be 1700 minus 1518 divided by 325. And again, that's the second z-score. That's this z-score. OK, let's see what that gives us. So actually, in my calculator, I'm just going to bring up the same calculation I had before, but I'm going to change this 1,400 to 1,700. And I press Enter, and I get 0.56 as a decimal. OK, so I need to look up 0.36 and 0.56 to see what that gives me on my z-chart now. Okay, so we're looking up minus 0.36 first. So we come to point, remember there's no negative z-scores on the table since the curve is symmetric. It's the same as looking up the positive z-score. So I'm going to look up 0.36. So here's 0.3. I come over and I find the answer 6 here. So I end up with 0.1406 as the area. So it'll be 0.1406 in this space. Now I'm going to look up 0.56 to get the area here in this missing space. So for 0.56, I go to the 0.5 position and go over to where the 6 position here is across the top. And we get the answer 0.2123 as the area. So 0.2123. So the sum of these two areas is my final answer for the problem. So 6 and 3 gives you 9. 0 and 2 gives you 2. 1 and 4 gives you 5 and 1 and 2 gives you 3. So 0.3529 is the solution for the problem. Or in other words, 35.29%.